During the 1960s, the idea of creating underwater colonies captured the imagination of many, including French filmmaker and researcher Jacques Cousteau. Known for his groundbreaking work in oceanography and underwater exploration, Cousteau and his team embarked on a series of undersea living and research stations known as Conchelf. The original plan was to construct five underwater colonies, but in reality, only three were completed. These stations were designed to be submerged to a maximum depth of 300 meters, but in the end, they reached a maximum depth of 100 meters. The funding for this ambitious project came in part from the French petrochemical industry, who saw the potential for these colonies to serve as base stations for the future exploitation of the sea. The first of these underwater habitats was Conchelf I, which was submerged in 10 meters of water near Marseilles. In 1962, two oceanauts spent seven days in the habitat, conducting basic observations of life underwater and undergoing daily medical exams. This marked the first inhabited underwater habitat and was a significant milestone in undersea exploration. Following the success of Conchelf I, Cousteau and his team launched Conchelf II in 1963. This ambitious project involved half a dozen oceanauts living 10 meters down in the Red Sea off Sudan in a starfish-shaped house for 30 days. They were among the first to breathe a mixture of helium and oxygen, a technique that allowed them to avoid the effects of narcosis. The project also included a submarine hangar and a small, deep cabin where two oceanauts lived at a depth of 30 meters for a week. The third and final station, Conchelf III, saw six divers, including Cousteau's son Philippe, living in the habitat at a depth of 102.4 meters in the Mediterranean for three weeks. In this effort, Cousteau aimed to make the station more self-sufficient, severing most ties with the surface. The team successfully performed several industrial tasks, demonstrating the potential for undersea colonies to support human life and work. While the Conchelf projects did not lead to the permanent establishment of underwater colonies, they played a crucial role in advancing our knowledge of undersea technology and physiology. Cousteau's work also helped bring attention to the need for ocean conservation, leading to a new era of public awareness and research in oceanography. The Conchelf projects were not only groundbreaking in their scientific achievements but also captured the public's imagination, inspiring a generation of undersea habitats primarily for marine research purposes. Cousteau's dedication to exploring the underwater world and pushing the boundaries of human exploration has left a lasting impact on our understanding of the oceans and our relationship with the sea.